Alrighty, uh, welcome back to another Star Citizen 3.18.2 video. Uh, today we're going to try something new, an investigation mission. Uh, taking out the old MISC Freelancer for this one. It's a pretty good all-round ship with uh, decent firepower. Should we run into any trouble? Decent cargo space if that's needed. Uh, so first things first, we're flying out of Orison. Uh, as you can see, it looks like we've got a bit of damage still from the last time we flew this old girl, but nothing to really worry about. Uh, it's a decently long flight to get to QT uh, distance, especially in uh, this big of a bird. She's a bit a bit slow, uh, but she'll get us there. So here I'm just trying to look for any signs of that damage. Uh, can't spot anything, which uh, makes me think it's probably a little bug, a little bit of leftover damage from the last time we landed. Uh, can happen. Game's still in alpha, right? out of atmosphere, uh, which means we can jump into QT, so let's get that done. Alright, here we are. Uh, Got to line up for another target still for QT, which I'll be doing shortly. Uh, issue with this mission was I didn't seem to be able to actually click on the destination to set it as a QT point, uh, which is kind of frustrating. Does mean that uh, from about this point onwards, uh, oh wait, no, I've got one more QT jump. Uh, after that, we then have to kind of travel the old fashioned things, just uh, with normal engines, which does take a while. Yeah, so rather than uh, make you guys sit here and watch me travel hundreds of kilometers in space, uh, I'll just bit of editing and uh, I'll see you when we get to the location. So here we are within about sort of 40 kilometers or so. Uh, it took me about five or six minutes of just flying straight, uh, which none of you wanted to see. Uh, so now we're just going to fly in for a quick look and, and see what we can find. Uh, we're in a bit of an asteroid field, so that's why I'm using the scanning, just to make sure I'm not going to hit any invisible asteroids. And getting in pretty close here. Uh, should be able to see our target shortly, hopefully. And over 
overcooked it just a little bit. Uh, came in a bit too fast there. Um, so just a bit of a quick tip. Uh, rather than relying on your space brakes, do as I just did then. Flip around, apply uh, thrust in the opposite direction, kick in the boosters and it will slow you down a hell of a lot quicker than uh, using the space brakes would have. shoot again so I'm just taking it in nice and slow. I also don't want to fly too close and hit any wreckage and kill myself. Alright weirdly this is the only wreckage that seems to be around um, which is strange but uh, we'll stop here we will get out and we will have a look at what's going on. tip when you're stopping your ship always turn your records off you never know what's going to happen you don't want to come back to a ship that's flown off half a million kilometers and you're stranded in the middle of nowhere never fun right, so i actually run into a bit of an interesting bug here as you can see exiting out for eva <coughs> eva doesn't happen sucked right on back into the ship um, unfortunately the game thinks i'm no longer in the ship so i actually lose the ability to interact with anything the doors Nothing works for me. You see, the door's not opening at all. Uh, and you see the notification there that says I have actually left the ship. Uh, so, yeah, the game thinks I'm no longer here. Which is why nothing is responding. Can't exit. Can't open doors. Yep. You can even hear in the uh, the sound, it sounds like I'm in EVA. You can hear the breathing in my helmet. work though, entering the bed. Um, so this actually kicked me out of that little bug. Uh, as you can see, as soon as I went to lie down, I got the um, rejoining the ship message pop up. And all I have to do is jump back out of the bed, exit out of there, uh, and you guys get to watch the kind of annoying, overly long getting out of bed animation for the freelancer. Uh, very frustrating if you're in the bed and need to jump out quickly. Anyway, up. Oh, uh, this time we're going to go out the back entrance because I'm not trusting that side exit again. Uh, so here we go, trying to open the back ramp. Seems interactable. What I've actually clicked on, as you'll see, is the rear turret. Having a great day so far. <laughs> get out there and see what we can find. Um, now the mission here is to actually find the, the body of the pilot, or the remains of the pilot. Um, after seeing that wreckage, that poor bugger ain't going to be alive, so <laughs> we're looking for remains. Uh, you see, just checking here. Let's see what I'm supposed to be doing. Alright, so here's the first bit of wreckage. Uh, looks like a destroyed Starfarer. So just to avoid you guys the pain, I um, had a few glitches, uh, had a container I picked up and it glitched out and I couldn't control myself in EVA, so I've edited that out um, and we're at a point where I can actually play the game and not struggle to control myself in space. So yeah, there's the pesky undersuit that I picked up that I couldn't, do, <laughs> couldn't control EVA while I was holding it. Apparently I'd held it by one arm and it was throwing me all around the joint. Took a bit of good five or six minutes just to get back to my ship. Uh, so we'll head back out. We haven't found the pilot yet. Uh, as you can see, there's extra wreckage, wreckage that wasn't there when we started. Um, that's a bit to do with the server lag at the moment. They're not performing the best. Uh, COG have said that this is intentional. Um, Xeno threat seems to have been what's caused it, but they're not going to switch it off because they're gathering great amounts of data. Um, does make the game a bit painful to play though. So yeah, just, just having a look around, trying to find this body. Uh, it's 
another part of the Rex Staff error. Uh, getting through these is a bit painful. If you hit the bottom of it, you snag yourself and fall over. If you hit the side, you snag yourself and fall over. So you've got to be very careful and very precise when trying to get through here. And as you can see, hit the bottom, fell over. <laughs> um, yeah, there's nothing in here, no bodies, nothing to see. So uh, we'll move on. So yeah, at, uh, at this point, pretty much I spent another five minutes trying to find this dude's body, searching every single piece of wreckage out here. It's actually a fairly painful mission. I'm trying to find the right body. So dude had no identifying markings on him whatsoever, so just going through this a little bit here, just for a bit of fun really. This is another part of the wreck stuff era, and hit any part of it, it kind of screws you up. Anyway, this is the last piece to explore down here, uh, it's the only one I haven't actually been through properly yet, so... Assuming he will be in here somewhere. Let's hope. Uh, it's a point to note, all those containers are lootable. I don't think they have anything in them. Uh, when I looked, uh, I couldn't sell them afterwards, so... Uh, I did actually collect two of them and then left the rest behind. Again, okay, going through here very carefully, so I don't hear anything. And here's another dead body, poor bastard. Search, and there we go, we found the dead pilot, finally. Uh, we can get the hell out of here. Uh, do just have one more look around, just to see if there's anything worth looting, but there's there's really nothing on this ship. Uh, as I said, you can actually grab them. Uh, that's one of the containers I took back to my ship. Actually managed this part fairly smoothly. Except for that part. Just just pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> Alright, here we go back to the good old freelancer. We'll load up this uh, what's probably an empty container and get the hell out of here. Now that, that mission is finally done. Alright guys, so uh, thanks for watching. Um, if you feel like I've done a good enough job feel free to add a like, add a subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Cheers!